Hello, and welcome to the second ever Beer and Code. Uh, today we're going to be talking about lambdas in C Sharp and how they can help you follow a dry principle. Uh, that means don't repeat yourself. Essentially, it will help you um, not write the same code twice. Uh, and also, since it is Beer and Code, and I left it out last time, I just want to tell you that today I am drinking a beer called Mountain Standard. This is by Odell Brewing. And it is technically a double black India pale ale. It's very dark and very good. All right, on to the code. Um, okay, so basically, like I said, we're going to talk about code reuse. So let's look at a little class that I made for demo purposes called looping list processor. Basically, this class has two public methods, and they both basically loop through a list that's passed in and quote unquote process it. Um, so as you can see, there is this one little part of the code that is being used twice for each of our item in the list. For each item in the list. So while this is sort of a trivial example, um, we're going to look into removing that. So that code is only written once. All right, so it's going to hop into a new file that we're going to modify. Okay. And essentially, we're going to, since we're going to be um, almost mimicking this behavior, I'm going to copy a version of it and paste it in the bottom. Copy and pasting code is not always bad. Don't let people tell you otherwise. We're going to change it here. And we're going to do that. So now, as you can see, we have this quote unquote helper. And, but right now it's just, just a copy, so we need to modify it. And how do we need to modify it? Well, in general, we want to make this action, the, the processing, uh, we need to abstract that out of the method. So we don't actually want to call that code here. We want to somehow pass in some code to run. And that's where we're going to use lambdas. So to tell your function that it, or your method, that it accepts a lambda, um, you use, in this case, an action and you tell it uh, a number of parameters. So, so you can say that this code uh, expects a string as a parameter. We're just going to call it code. So now, in here, instead of actually telling it to console write line, we're going to say, hey, run whatever code is passed in and give it the item. And that's it. So now our helper method, process list, basically does the loop here. And then we'll run whatever code is handed to it. Now let's use it. Let's grab that and just pass in the list. And now we need to pass in a lambda. And to do that, you declare the parameters. In this case, we're going to call item. And then you declare the body. And the body of this is just going to do our printing. Boom. OK, so now, in this case, it's not any shorter. But we're not calling the loop anymore. We're not doing the loop. We're just calling, all right, process the list and do this action with each each item. So do, do this action with each item. Now it's generic. All right, so now let's do the same thing in our process adder list. All right, let's grab our helper method, drop it in there, give it the list. And now we need to tell it to do this. All right. That's the action that we're going to do. But this time we have an int. Some of you may already see a problem with this code. All right. So now we're going to loop through the list. Or we're going we're gonna to call process list. We're going to pass in our list. And we're going to give it some code to run. Should look very similar to up here. And then at the end, we, we print out the sum. OK, now the problem here is that our process list method that we've declared expects a list of strings and an action that takes a string. Well, here we have a list of ints. So if I try to compile this, it'll tell you right here, cannot convert a generic list of ints to a generic list of strings. So how do we fix that? Well, we'll just make this method generic. And so we'll give it a type parameter. 
and then we'll make each of these items generic. So now you can pass in a list of any type T. And then, uh, you, it, depending on the, the type T you pass in here, the action, your code, will take that type. So in this first case, we pass in a list of strings. So the T is a string. Uh, and then correlating, the lambda expects a string. So if you look over here, we're passing in a list of ints. Uh, the lambda expects an int. So now I'm going to rebuild it. And everything succeeds. Yay! Live coding. I'm glad that turned out. So you're like, um, that was neat, but that's more code than we had before. So this is before. It's at 30. And this is after. It's at 38. Yes, this example is sort of contrived. Um, but let me show you where the benefit comes in. All right, so now let's go back to the original. This is where we, where we were at before. And let's say we want to add the functionality to this code that every time we loop through a list, we print out the current index that we're processing. So I would do that by doing this. Set up a count. Um, and then basically say index count plus plus. All right. So now we did it here. So we have a count variable, and we're going to increment the count and print it every time. Now we need to do that in the other method. You can see sort of probably where I'm getting at that I'm copying and pasting code. Now we have the same code again here, 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 here. So hopefully our new version um, fixes that. All right, so let's look at the new version. In the new version, we just have to do it once. Uh, right there, we do the count. And I'm just going to go back over to here and grab that piece. Boom. OK, so now we only added the code here, count, and then the printing and the counting. And because each of these main met or public methods call into process list, the functionality is pulled into both of those. All right. So uh, hopefully this sort of contrived example shows you on how Adding, using lambdas uh, and passing around code blocks can help you reuse code. And hopefully you learned perhaps a little bit about uh, generics in the process. Uh, so if you, OK, I'm going to have to learn how to edit this. So I hope you guys all learned something today. Uh, I had a good time putting this together and learned some stuff myself. Uh, if you really like this and would like to see more, please click subscribe and like, and I will hopefully get a new one out to you guys in about a week. So uh, uh, thanks again for watching, and cheers.